What's up everybody, it's Lou William Games here and I'm going to show you guys how to install LSPDFR with the new script hook V. I know it's been a while since I've done these videos, but I'm going to get back on these type of videos because I know you guys still have questions and concerns about your GTA uh, LSPDFR. So I will be getting back on the train on this. <laughs> choo choo. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, so what you're going to need, you're going to need LSPDFR. The raise negative UI, script hook, uh, tr simple trainer, script hook V, community script hook, and uh, the raise uh, plugin hook. But you really don't need this because it already been an updated raise plugin hook in the in the uh, LSPDFR. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Okay, um, what you want to do is go to the most current version, which is this one right here. Uh, you want to hit download. Uh, once you do that, you want to come to download file, you want to hit uh, agree and download, and you want to just download the manual setup, hit the big green download button. Uh, if you get something like this where, you know, it's downloading, but then it says you just want to uh, let it download and, and go to keep. Okay, let it let it download. Sometimes your computer won't recognize it and you just want to, you know, keep it it may say oh it may harm your computer don't worry about that all right um you want to download this i think we already downloaded most of this I already downloaded most of this resonate you script it. yes i already got most of that so you want to download this you want to download this just hit the most current version right here you want to download script hook v has already been updated may 4th uh 2022 now we're going to do the community script hook you want to hit the big green download button and hit script hook v download.zip and we're not really going to worry about this i just brought this in but i just realized uh you know uh they already got uh uh, uh they already have a brand new uh see this is actually old right here um so we're not going to worry about that because i will show you how to launch your new rage plugin hook in lspdfr all right so once you do that you want to bring everything on your desktop like so i kind of cleaned up my desktop guys if you notice um man all that stuff that was loaded onto my desktop i got tired of looking at it so i actually cleaned it off a little bit kind of like it like this i can just go in and search and find what i need to find and call it a day but um only reason why we got grand theft auto because i literally just re-downloaded grand theft auto so this is what we're going to do all right i'm going to take you through the ringer so what you want to do i have uh uh steam so we're going to go here search steam all right you want to come over to library and you want to get you want to make sure you got the most current version okay so what we're going to do we're going to take our time i'm going to edit out all the boring stuff like all the waiting and download stuff like that but i'm going to show you how to do this accurately okay what you want to do is go here go to uh properties you want to go to updates. I mean, not updates. You want to go to local files. My bad. And you want to make sure you got the most updated current version. So what we're going to do is you want to click Vega, verify integrity of game files. And once we're so that's going to verify our new updated game version. OK, so let that download. We're going to come back and then I'm going to show you what to do next. I want you guys to follow this step by step. So we're going to make copies of the game. We're going to make sure everything is verified and we're going to make sure LSPDFR is running 100 percent smoothly. OK, I will see you guys once this is being done verifying. All right, guys, once you have uh, verified the game file successfully, close it, close it. Uh, what you want to do is exit it out <coughs> and you want to go back <coughs> to your Steam. And you're going to go back to uh, home, back to GTA 5, properties, local files, and you want to press browse local files. Now here... You'll, you now know your GTA 5 is completely updated. You have the newest uh, the newest game version, okay? You have the newest game version. Now what you want to do, before we install any type of mods, we want to make copies of this GTA 5, right? Steam apps, common. 
Now you want to make a copy of GTA 5 before you do anything else. Go to copy and now you want to press and now you want to press paste. And you're going to make a copy of GTA 5. If anything goes wrong with the first GTA 5, like if you mess up, you throw a mod in there, you mess up your game, you can just delete the first game and use the clean copy as a backup, okay? So we're going to let this download, let it uh, run through, and then we'll be back. All right, guys, now that we are back, we have everything installed. Um, updating the x64 folder you want to go to your open IV and go to Windows and you will see your mods folder right here same way okay now we're going to start the installation so go to script hook V you want to take uh, the first one second one and hold on. first one second one and the third one just like that you want to drag them over and install right here okay then what you want to do is take uh, script hook V you want to go to bin you want to highlight these three and you want to take the negative trainer out drag and drop all right then what you want to do is go to uh, simple trainer and you want to uh, highlight these two drag and drop now I'm gonna see if I have it here I may not um, I don't know if I saved the last documents from last time. Um, so I probably didn't. Um, okay, I didn't. Um, so what you want might want to do is save your game. So that way, when you reinstall Grand Theft Auto, um, you want to like whatever. With it. This is after we install all of our mods, okay? Um, so next, what you want to do is go to um, LSPDFR, open this up. And we're going to highlight everything. We're going to take out this, the license, and the README. All right, you want to take out all of that, drag and drop everything over here, okay? All right, once you do that, we want to exit it out. And now what you want to do is go to the Rage Plugin Hook. This is it's already been updated. That's why you do not need the other Rage Plugin Hook. So go here. Go to Accept. First time installation. Give it a second. You want to come here. And you want to go to uh, Backup Game Version. Crap, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> well, yeah, you want to back go to backup game version, okay? It's creating a backup for you. Alright. Alright. It's creating a, a backup version for you, so um, you can have something to go back to, okay? So go here and change it to 20. What you want to do is uh, go to save and launch. And that's how you back up your game. Go to yes.
go to yes if it keeps popping up the social club just hit yes We had a power hour, a, a power outage yesterday because of a storm. So give it a second, guys. That's why it's coming up like this. Give it a second. Let it do its thing. Let it breathe. Just let it breathe. All right. Alright, once you guys do that, you want to come into the game. You want to press start. And you want to press F4. I don't know why everything's so zoomed the hell in. Go to load. Give it a second. Give it a second. Give it a second. Loading LSPDFR. Give it a second. Give it a second. And there we go. Alright. Let it run through. Do not press anything. Just let it breathe. Let it run through. Go back. Press the start button. You want to find uh, the closest uh, precinct, which is right here. You want to go to your trainer. And you want to go uh, teleport the waypoint. All right. Let everything sit and breathe. Go to the feds. Go inside. All right, go on duty. A.
All right. So you can come here and change everything if you want. Go back to mail, the features, the appearance. I'm just save it and put my name. I don't really care about you know my character like that, like making my character all that. As much as this game updates and everything, I do, I do not want to have to just go through all that. So just use the character. I mean, if you want to create your own character, go ahead. I I really don't care. I mean. I don't I don't care. Um this is normally the type of character I use. Go to police garage. Oh, I mean to go back to police locker, I'm sorry. Um you can change your vehicle. You can change your outfits too. I was just gonna show you guys the different outfits, but it doesn't really matter. You can, you guys can figure that out once you get inside the game. Alright. I'm gonna show you the simple system at first. So if you want to pull somebody over, cut the lights on them, press the shift button, honk them. LS fucking PT, pull the fuck over. All right, so apparently they want to stop there. You can keep honking them if they want to, if you want them to pull actual over. So come over, press right on the D-pad, say hello. Hello. Uh, get, give me your ID. Alright. Now you press B. You can call for backup, SWAT team, fire, whatever. Press uh E. Ask for ID. You know, it's pretty simple in the beginning. So you press B, get local patrol. Backup required on Olympic Freeway in La Mesa. Respond code three. Um Let me get him out the car. Get out the car. Press E. Tell him to get out the car. Hey, 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 hey. Whoa. Get on the ground there, cowboy. All right. Talk to me, guys. You come over. You arrest him like this. Who's got a shot? All right. Oh, my God. That person. Get over yourself. All right. You come over and you can take him to jail. Get over yourself. You press. Come on, you gotta get in front That's of him. All right. Oh, press. Ah, crap. I don't have everything else installed. My bad. So, you can take him to jail. Um, I gotta put the, install the rest of the plugin so you guys can have it. You slime ball. Um. But once you get everything else, that's how you, uh, what, we, we, we install all the other plugins. I'm going to show you how everything else goes. But uh, this is just the beginning basic. This is Slim William Games. I will catch you on the next one. Peace.